cue the Benny Hill theme song. Oh, man, decent, uh, decent uh, padding here, right? Not much to it though, huh? Toss that. Actually, the whole thing's sort of weighted. Oh. There's the box of gooey goodies. Oh, nice. They made this one a bit heavier than they used to, huh? You see adapter. I believe it's over 100 watts, which is ridiculous. Eh, it's not too heavy. It's about twice the Apple charger weight. Um, got you know the correct power adapter. If that is a battery. Decently heavy. Probably a pound. And, uh, last but not least, the main attraction here. Uh, don't really care about the manuals. Alright, here it is. It does feel a lot like my T60P did from 2008. In terms of heft. It is a bit thick too. I'll show you in a second. Oh, look at this. Look at that. A real Ethernet port. Those are hard to come by. Full size too, of course, because the thing's so thick. Thunderbolt 3, which is awesome. HDMI. And a power cable slot. I'm surprised they didn't put any covering on the screen. And here it is. Tells the on the side. Color calibrator. Fingerprint scanner. Classic ThinkPad pointer thing in the middle. And yeah, they're pretty decent. They don't feel like chiclet keys. They feel like laptop keys, even though they are flat. Like they have the same aesthetic, but they. Definitely have more key travel than Mac, which is freaking awesome. I definitely like this better than the Apple keyboard. I mean, these are real minor nitpicks, you know. It, it just would be super nice if the keys were uh, non chiclet I, That's probably the my big complaint. It fires thing up. A solid power button. The other one on my Asus would get stuck and just not turn on. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. Probably Windows 10 starting up. Yeah, they. This is an SSD. It should be. And I didn't get a touchscreen. I didn't, also didn't get a backlit keyboard because both of those things are pretty rubbish, in my opinion. It's the legal stuff that you just tacitly ignore and hit the accept button. Um, sign into my uh, tethered internet. I'll tell you what, I am definitely happy with it. Um, Asus touchpad always had that problem where one of the corners didn't feel like it was glued down properly. Yeah. And this thing feels flat, smooth, responsive. It's right mouse sensitivity. You can just easily go to any point on the screen. Ugh. It's just there's just no other laptop out there that has this kind of quality. I mean, the screen is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm super impressed uh, with it. It's matte. It's not uh, glossy. I really dislike glossiness. Um, now this is supposed to be the same color, uniform color, but it's not. Um, I guess my eyes will just sort of get used to that, but there's definitely some darkness in the corners, some unevenness in the backlighting. Um, it's a nice screen. Um, it's just not, you know, not quite like what you'd expect. Um, any other advice? This is 4K resolution display. Super nice indicator lights. If you noticed when it was powering on, there were some indicator lights on the actual keys themselves as well, which is cool. And an indicator light over here. Well, and there you have it. There you have it. Windows 10. Let's go with the defaults, huh? Cool. That's what we'll do, huh? All right, perfect the moon though.
That is pretty nice. That definitely is an improvement. And there you have it. Actually, the display now post calibration is super impressive. Even with the uneven backlighting. Okay, 4K video test. This is just incredible. Oh my god, the detail on the screen is just unreal. It's a shame about the backlight.